Here's what we're really good at, folks. And we, we must be honest with ourselves and the presence of God this morning. We are very good at words of terminal illness. Words that need an edify or support. Words that neither build up but words that tear down. We must model and we must teach the things that will equip our spouse, equip our children for the future. Let, I'm going to close with this because I think I'm going to have part two next week. I just got that feeling this morning in my heart, so we're, we're going to come back to this again. But I, I want to close with a few things that I believe the Lord gave me. Um, I'm going to let them settle in your spirit. I'm not going to call you to the altar to repent of them. You can do that where you are seated. But I want you to hear a couple of statements that I think the Lord gave me that should never be heard under your roof. I want you to avoid them at all costs. I want you to pray that prayer of David. Guard my mouth. I'm going to watch over the door of my lips. Avoid them at all costs because no one needs to hear these words. Let's establish something more before I give you these statements. How many of you know that words last? How many know that words have power? Yes. That's right. If we could take the time today in the service, we would feed the rest of the day, it would be healthy. But we could take the time right now to share one word or statement that was said over all of us somewhere back in the younger part of our life. And it is still a hurt to this day. It is still a hang-up to this day. And unfortunately, we have developed some habits because of that word. So let me give you a few statements. I will come back to this perhaps next Sunday. I just see a caution sign, a stop sign, a Holy Ghost, I'm going to stop, reset, stop. How many times have you used or heard this word? Thing. Why can't you be more like? More like who? More like what? Every husband, every wife, every significant other, every child is implanted with unique divine design. Creator God has created those who are linked to you just as they are on purpose. They were never supposed to be just like somebody else. Another statement. Just three words. Voice power. At your age. What does that mean? What does that mean? And what is the spirit of behind those three words. We've got a truck with the kids and you know that. I think I understand that children do act their age. <laughs> I've never met one that did not act their age. They're children. They are not adults. Children act like children. So don't ridicule a child for being what he or she is. And that is a child. How about this one? Is that really the best you can do? Is that really the best you can do? How many of you know this labeling is disabling? 
You tag somebody with something. You hang it around their neck for years. Labeling is disabling. Whether you are questioning their appearance or their performance, these words are seldom healthy. It is human nature, folks, to allow particular words to define us and also to limit us. Beware of using statements like you are the best or you are the worst. Or oh, you're the cutest or you're the ugliest. Or you're the smartest or you are the dumbest. Those words disable. Now about this one. How could you be so stupid? How could you be so stupid? It is okay once in a while, not habitually, but it's okay once in a while to call yourself stupid. Because sometimes we are, right? We do stupid stuff. <laughs> we, we do careless things. We, we act before we think. But it's never healthy to say to somebody, how could you be so stupid? Stupid is terminal illness, let alone degrading. How about this one? I wish I never knew you. I wish I never laid eyes on you. Never use those words of terminal illness. In a moment of exasperation or fatigue, Never, ever use those words. 